Next question. Member for Tamiskam and Cochrane. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Affairs. All farmers are impacted by trade deals. The new NAFTA agreement will have a major impact on dairy and poultry sectors and everyone else involved in the industry, including processors. And agriculture, it was signed by the federal government, but agriculture is one of the sectors that has federal provincial responsibility. Under the deal for dairy, class seven of milk was eliminated. The classes are regulated provincially under the Milk Act. That's not a federal issue. And the elimination of Class 7 could have a much bigger destabilizing impact than the loss of market access, which should be compensated. But the, the, the destabilization will have, could permanently damage supply management. What is the provincial government going to do to stabilize the industry because of the elimination of Class 7, which is a provincial responsibility? Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for the question. I know many Ontarians, including our agriculture communities, are concerned about what the new USMCA deal could mean for industries that rely on trade. We're still reviewing what the impact of these changes will be, including the Class 7. However, it's clear that the concessions made in the new agreement will hurt our supply managed sector, particularly the dairy. We have reached out to our stakeholders and are committed to continue to work with them as we determine the details of the impact of this new deal. We're calling on the Trudeau government to use federal funds to compensate dairy farmers. This new deal cannot leave our farmers behind. Farming jobs and farming families must never be used as bargaining chips. From day one, we have offered full support for our farmers. Our Premier and our Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade traveled to Washington to raise the concerns and make sure our farmers are top of mind. We will continue to stand by. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary. The long-term stability of our dairy farm families relies on the stability of our milk classification process. The elimination of Class 7 destabilizes that process. The, cla the, the classification system is a provincial responsibility. This isn't about federal compensation, which is a totally separate issue. This is about the provincial responsibility to maintain the stability of the system on which farmers and Ontario consumers and Canadian consumers have relied on for over 50 years. Again, to the minister, what action is the government going to take to stabilize the milk classes so supply management can continue to exist? Thank you, Speaker. Minister. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And again, thank the member for the question. And as, as I said, we are continuing to review the impact of this new deal in its entirety and its impact on our dairy industry. That includes Class 7. The, the issues in that deal uh, are negotiated by the federal government, and the responsibility to look after that is the responsibility of the federal government. And so that's why we need to make sure we review the, the process and then make sure the federal government deals with the financial assistance to our farmers in a way that deals with all the impacts they have created Order. through this negotiation. <laughs>